Well, hello, everyone. I am one o'clock. I'm going to eat some of these veggie chips. There's just a few left. Okay, guys, I'm going to attempt to make some chicken fajitas tonight. Never made them before, so we'll have to see. See how it goes. Um, I think I'm going to put on the slow cooker. And I'm going to put it on high. And we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I've never had fajitas before. Or I've never made them before. So, we'll just see how it goes. You know. That's all you can do. See how it goes. I am going to. Here's the pack mix. Until I look it up and find my own recipe. We'll see. Tim wanted these. Tim wanted the chicken penis, so. That's why I signed I am doing bell pepper and onion. So, we'll see. I think I do the bell pepper and onion on the stove. I do believe. But I'm not real sure. That's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to cut little pieces of chicken and put it in here. Kind of make it into strips, I guess. What you want to call it. Chicken's still a little bit frozen. But... Seems to be cutting a little, you know, pretty decent, so, for me. But not too bad. Sure, um, everyone does the fajitas a different way, and I'm sure there'll be lots of suggestions telling me how to do it, so that would be nice. So, like I said, I ain't never cooked any before, so. This is just the way I'm going to do it for all of us tonight. And I think I'll wait till the chicken is halfway done. And then... Um, put the fajita mix in. What do y'all think? You think that's how I should do it? I think so too. Oh, thank God, I should. Then again, not real sure. No, I didn't, I didn't touch his hand with chicken. People act like I've never cooked before. I'm 40 years old. I've been cooking for a long time. <laughs>
more very old diamond, I should say. We like back them. I like to give it a little. Rinse it out. So, we'll get back with you. We'll have it on these wraps. Yum! Look, I got my warmer going today. So pretty. I need to find me a couple more. Yeah. Not ready to paint my nails. I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna paint this purple, I think. These LA colors, they don't have the name of the polish on there. Don't know why, but they don't. At least I don't think. I'm trying to look. It has something down here. The back. Underneath. Yep. Just says BCC 588. That's all it says. <laughs> so I usually use these from the Dollar Tree, these little pans. You should use a couple of them. These are good for anything. Makeup if you wear makeup and all that. But you know me, I don't wear makeup, so. And then this. This is the um, strengthening with vitamin E for natural nails. <laughs> a couple people a couple people asked me on my Facebook and call and um Message me, he says, Oh, will you do your nails on camera? I said, Sure. Why not? Just flip it over. Use the back side. So you get these for a dollar, 80 of them, so. A dollar for 80, not bad. Dollar frame and abolish. <laughs> and that LA colors does stay on pretty good. At least I always get them, but I usually use one per hand, so. It, um, it stays on really good, so. It's not bad at all for one buck. One smackaroo. <laughs> oh, whatever you want to call it. Guess we got lots of names for money, don't we? There's the AC kicking on. It's still a little warm here today. It's not as humid, I don't think. But it is a little muggy out. I just walked outside and put my head out the door. And it's, it is a little muggy out there. Pretty little muggy. Pretty little muggy. I already started to smell that chicken I put on. <laughs> hour and a half ago. Love slow cooker recipes. I cannot wait until I think I'll get my box put it on, my hand on. It might be easier. Yeah. Till um, winter because I'll be doing all kinds. Can't wait to make some chili. Oh, we love chili. I haven't used this purple in a while. Oh God, it's runny. Or not really runny, but running off. I should say. I got some up there, fingernail polish. I got a ton of fingernail polish. Ton. I'm not sure how many bottles. One day I'll count them. I just literally threw a bunch away not too long ago. That's going to be really pretty though. Probably gonna need two coats though. It seems like it's kind of thin. Thin and out. But that's okay. A lot of my favorite polish I have, anyways, does that. You have to 
thinning out. It gets thin. Or it's, you know, thinner, so I have to put two coats on. Okay. I'll put the other hand on and I'll get back with you. Okay, here's my nails all done. I ain't no professional. I ain't no professional. But hey, I got them done. You know what I mean. So, it's a pretty purple. I like it. It's very, very pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Very pretty. So, that's it. That's all, folks. Dee, 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 dee. Okay, here's what it all turned out. I'm just letting it kind of simmer. Get some of the juices out of here. The bell peppers in that cooked up really good. In there, it's smelling scrunchy. Hope it tastes as good as it looks. Okay, here's what the fajita looks like. Mmm, mmm. I have a bunch of cheese on it. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. I love the bell pepper and the um, onions together for this chicken. Mm. It's so scrumptious. Mm -hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. Mm -hmm. I know people probably make it different ways, but so I'm gonna get off here and eat. Thank you all so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on next one. Bye. Share, share, share.